Daddy. <laughs> Is that your daddy? Hey. Oh, I miss you so much. It's your daddy. You, you can go see Kendall? Yeah. Let's go see Kendall. Yeah, daddy. Hey. Ew! What? Her strawberries got all over my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your sissy? Ew, Ty. I miss you, Ty. Ew, Ty. Is that your sissy? Mwah. Teddo. Teddo. Hey, sissy did that. Is that sissy? It's <laughs> Teddo. It's your daddy. It's daddy to us. Hi, I missed you. It's your daddy. Yeah, that's my truck. But this is our car. Mommy to work. It's mommy to work. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are finally home. We finally made it back home, as you just saw from a couple of crazy weeks in New York where we came back with Officer Kendall. We've been home for a couple days now, and it is Kendall's 10th birthday today. Happy birthday to Open your eyes. you. Happy birthday to you. Birthday, dear Kendall. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Make your first Happy wish birthday. of double digits. No, not that yet, my mouth. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> now, I realized in the last couple of videos there's some information that I don't think we got a chance to really touch on or we didn't know about at the time, and now we have some more information. Uh, so that's exciting, and I'll catch you guys up on that stuff. Uh, the bad news is that Kendall and I are getting ready to hit the road again and go back to the hospital. We've got to do another round of chemo, which is not unexpected. That's part of the plan, but we've got to get to the hospital. Ooh, are we doing hair? Did you miss us? Hannah, while we were gone, yeah, we missed you too. Mommy was scared. You. <laughs> Mommy was scared you were gonna forget about her. That would never happen, right? And Cameron held it down while we were gone. She was like the woman of the house, holding it all together, keeping everything in line. Did you miss us? Yeah, a lot. But was it exciting to not have mom and dad for a few weeks? <laughs> No, I'd rather have y'all here. Well, good answer. And before Kendall and I leave, I feel like I should address this like I should every few videos. Yes, Kendall has a mother. As beautiful, <laughs> as, as beautiful and gorgeous as she is, she just doesn't like being on camera. So, um, Are people still asking that? Uh, from time to time, yes. Okay. Here she is. You guys saw her in New York, she's here. She's gonna stay home this week while I take Kendall to the hospital for his chemo treatment. But here she is, alive and well and with us every day. Okay, we are back at the hospital with our amazing view and space and windows and all the things. Um, what's nice about doing chemo this week, not that there's anything ever nice about doing chemo, but uh, this is the first time we're getting to do it outpatient, which means we don't have to stay the night here. We're not admitted. Uh, we are staying at a hotel nearby, which just makes it a lot easier. We get to go leave the hospital for the night, and we'll come back tomorrow to continue. But it was so nice to get here, and we ran into all of our favorite people as we arrived this morning, and a bunch of our favorite nurses, and you know the doctors, and everyone just loves Kendall so much. It was like lots of big hugs, and checking on Kendall, and getting the story from New York, and they, they follow the YouTube videos as well, so um, it's just exciting to get back and kind of like see all of our people. So like I just mentioned, uh, chemo this week is outpatient. It's a mild chemo. She's done this chemo before. She actually responded really well to it, but there's so many things to update you guys on as it relates to what's happening that I sort of alluded to earlier, it's like details we glossed over and all that kind of stuff. So when we get back to the hotel this evening, I'll get you caught up on all the things. How are we doing today, Kendall? Good. Feeling right? Good. Chemo's done for the day. How's your tummy? Feel nauseous or anything? Good. What else is going on? I'm playing Minecraft. Yeah? Yeah. Good. You got a joke for me today? Knock knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? I didn't know that you could yodel. <laughs> little little lady. <laughs> Good one.
Okay, we are back in the hotel now. I just put Kendall to sleep. <sighs> um, so we are now on day three of doing chemo and as the days goes on, uh, it's kind of taken a toll on her more and more, even though it's still pretty mild. She's definitely getting pretty nauseous and she's been getting sicker and sicker each day, throwing up a little bit more and more, which is kind of a bummer. But in theory, in theory, this is the last time she'll ever have to do chemo. So let's kind of, let's pick up on a lot of the details, things that maybe I glossed over previously. Um, and then kind of tell you what we got going on next. First of all, I don't think I did a very good job of explaining and articulating like how amazing and how much of a miracle it was for Kendall to be able to get that surgery that she had in New York. Um, I think I sort of just glossed over it, but this is something that was potentially life-saving for her, um, getting all that stuff out of there and stuff that three or four other surgeons said is a inoperable thing. Like you cannot go in there and remove this. So to have Dr. Gerstel at MSK have that skill, have the capabilities of doing that was like such a blessing and so huge. Also, as it relates to the surgery, I know I put it in the title of the video and like the timeline, if you really followed along, but that was a 13 hour surgery and it's incredible that she was able to recover as fast as she did. And she was discharged on day five, which they said, no one's ever done. Like they were like, you're setting records here. Like no one's ever able to go home on day five. It's usually like day seven to day 10 before they can get out. And which really threw a wrench in the gears with our plans with the NYPD thing and all that kind of stuff. Cause in the background, I'm on the phone with uh, Austin Glickman, who was kind of helping us set that up. And they were going to come to the hospital and then we got to getting discharged early and all. it ended up working out great because we were able to go to the headquarters versus some of them coming to the hospital. So it worked out really great, but it was like logistically it got kind of crazy behind the scenes trying to work all that out. Now the big news is that we got all of the pathology reports back from surgery. So everything they took out and removed, they sent off to pathology. We got those reports back and it showed that everything was dead. So like that's just such a big deal it's nice to know that all of all these treatments that we were doing weren't for nothing even though there was something stuff showing up in the mibg scans and pet scans uh the liver lesions all that stuff was actually dead so it's just weight off of our shoulders knowing that not only was all that stuff dead but now it's all been removed so the likelihood of it coming back is like that much less and the chemo that we're doing now is really intended to just sort of clean up anything microscopically that may be left behind. And same with the treatments we have coming up. And, you know, this treatment that we're doing is part of the plan. It's not unexpected. And surprisingly and fortunately that we actually have a plan now. So speaking of the plan, after this, we move on to radiation. Now, Kendall is going to do proton radiation opposed to... Uh, photon radiation and proton radiation is I don't want to say less harmful but it's a different style of radiation and they're able to use it it's more direct it's more uh, what's the word I'm looking for it's more precise um, it will go into her body and into the area that they want to radiate so in, in her case it's gonna be mostly the original tumor bed area and a few things like that but you they program it to hit that spot and then the radiation stops there versus old school photon radiation that hits that spot and then passes through and exits your body. So it's hitting all of the tissue uh, on either side that maybe you don't want to radiate. So for her, that means they'll go in through her back and they'll hit all this stuff that's in her back and in the kidney area that was in the liver, but they won't have to go through the body and, and damage any tissue in the front, which means reproductive organs and you know all this other stuff which to be a, a really big deal for her to save herself from all that radiation so pretty excited about that so we'll go up to new york here in a couple of weeks to do a ct scan simulation thing and they will create a mold or a jig or like a like a fixture if you will uh, to hold her body 
so that it's in the exact same position every time they do the radiation treatment because she has to do it 14 times. So it'll be twice a day over seven days. So her body has to be exactly the same place because it's such a precise thing of where they're gonna hit. So it's gotta be exactly the same place every single time. We'll get into all that stuff into the nitty gritty during those videos, but that's kind of the quick overview. So the first time we go up, we're gonna take the other girls with us, uh, Hannah and Cameron, and I'm a little, a little concerned about taking Hannah, if I'm being honest. All right, Kendall just finished up chemo for the last time, maybe ever. That may have been her last ever chemo treatment, which is emotionally hitting me right now. Pretty cool, Kendall. You excited? How does it make you feel? Yeah? You've done such a good job. We still got a little ways to go and some other stuff to do, but you're kicking butt. Proud of you. It's funny, we've been talking about it this week as if like this could be the last time, but it didn't really hit me till just now that she could be done with that. Like I said, we still have a little ways to go, some other treatments to do and some more immunotherapy and radiation and that sort of thing, but like, pretty cool. Gives you like a little light at the end of the tunnel, you know? 